Hello everyone, my name is King, and this is totally not the second time I tried recording this. But today, we are going to make a VTOL craft. VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing. We're only going to be doing the takeoff part because landing takes a couple tries, and I don't want to have to try to go through that again. It did not end well the first time. Anyway, so, in order to create this craft, we are going to be using, let's say this, the, the observatory looking thing. Because, why not? And so, the most important thing to keep in mind when making a VTOL craft is the center of mass. You want your thrust vectors, aside from the one pushing you forward, you want the thrust vector to be directly in line with the center of mass. If it's not, the thing will flip. So, just grabbing a random fuel tank, putting it on the side, uh, fumbling with controls to turn it the right way. We are then going to lower it down a bit, push it in. That seems about right. And then I'm going to put just some random nose cone on the end. There we go. And then we are going to put an engine on the other end. There we go. Now I'm going to be adjusting this a little bit so it's more or less in line like that just to make it easy on myself and now is the important part making sure it's in symmetry mode i'm going to put some engines on one side and then you have to make sure by opening up the center of thrust uh, vector and then turning off the thrust of this engine you want to have that purple thing in the center of, well, mass. So I'm going to be grabbing this, rotating it to face the same way, and make sure it's lined up, like so. I do believe that that is fairly well lined up. Now, just to make sure it's structurally sound and it doesn't like start out crooked or anything right here I'm going to be doing that that's just going to be there to keep it from rotating one way or the other and I don't think it will cause too much trouble during flight or anything so there we go now I'm going to name it VTOL Part 2, because I tried this the first time, and I didn't record it, and it exploded on landing, so, uh, don't fall. I make the best, uh, summaries. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, so, we are going to be trying it out now. Hopefully, there's less explosions this time. If it loads. Now, like I said, the most important thing is the spacing between the these two is in between the center of mass. Now I'm going to be turning that thrust up. Turning on SIS, full throttle, and activate. And as you can see, we are actually getting off the ground and we're moving forward and everything is turning out a-ok -okay. that's what's supposed to happen if you did it correctly which it seems I have done now you could just leave these on and just leave it like that and it looks all pretty and stuff but I figured we can make this a bit more technical than this. 
and probably a bit more cinematic and stuff. So, to do that, we're going to go to the Actions tab. I'm gonna set it for gear. First, we gotta turn the thrust back on that. In gear, we are going to toggle these uh, engines. And then in brakes, I'm going to toggle this engine. So if I hold down the brake, it'll turn this engine off and we just go up, like, vertically. And then if I let go of brake, it activates that engine and we'll go up at an angle. And I can turn off the gear once we're going fast enough and we can just go this way. Save the craft. And then let's launch it one final time. This actually is moving much faster than the previous recording. I should probably do practice recordings more often. Apparently practice is a very helpful tool. Or something. Alright, turning on SAS, full throttle, activate the engines and turn off the main engine. As you can see, we are slowly but surely rising up. Now, I'm going to actually once we start going straight up, and you can tell what that is from the prograde, I'm going to activate the main engine. And as you can see, we are already way off the ground. And here we go, perfectly normal. Once we start going fast enough, which can be literally however fast you feel like, like say here, where we're getting the sonic effects, we can press gear and turn off the louder engines. And now we have this thing. Which is going fairly fast. And it's basically a rocket now. So. That is how you make a VTOL craft. Hope you liked the video. I do Minecraft tutorials and Kerbal Space Program tutorials. Uh, people seem to like my Minecraft tutorials more, so if you have any ideas for any Kerbal Space Program stuff, just let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, subscribe if you feel like it. No pressure. Like, I don't care, to be honest. I like talking to people more than I like seeing numbers go up. But uh, yeah, my name's King, and that's the end of this video. Bye.